shoulders. Especially because you've been sitting all morning, we'll make, make sure we loosen up the thoracic spine. Nice. Yeah, and then one by one, and really rotating your upper back, getting a nice movement going, making sure you're moving everything. That's it. Nice. And then hugging your body, round your chest, tuck your pelvis in, and opening up to the ceiling. So we're going from sort of massive flexion into extension, loosening up the spine. Good, make sure you exaggerate every movement. Perfect. And opening up. And let's just do two more. Turning around. And opening. And last time. Good, we're just going to bounce and swing the arms. So we're really making sure that the upper body is nice and warmed up. Good, let's go for two more. One more, and relax. Okay, we're going to do a couple of roll downs and then a couple of roll forwards. So, taking a nice break in. Breathing out, tuck your tummy in. Chin down to your chest and start turning down one vertebra at a time. Keep the belly button pulled in. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Soften your knees and curly down all the way. Good. And on a breath out, pulling the belly button in. Curling up, tucking that pelvis under as you're curling up. Make sure your head is the last thing to come up. Nice, let's go again. Breathing in. And out. Chin down into your chest. Curling down. Keep that stomach pulled in. And this is a lovely massage almost for the spine. It stretches out all those muscles that's in between the spinal columns. And breathing out. Pulling that belly in. Make sure your head is the last thing to come up. Nice. Breathing in, arms up. And breathing out, passive. Pull your elbows in towards your waist, looking up at the ceiling, really opening up that chest. Squeezing them in. Then breathing out, arms above your head. And I'm going to reach forward, flat back. Reach forward. Try and reach for the wood in front of you. And then folding down. And curling up, one vertebra at a time. Nice, let's just do two more of those. Breathing in, arms up. And breathing out. Cactus the arms, squeezing the elbows in at your waist, looking up at the ceiling, really opening up the chest. So you're extending here. Then breathing in, arms above your head. And breathing out, reaching forward, stick your bottom arm behind you. So you go a nice flat back and then folding down, soften the knees as you go down. And curling up. One last time we're going to do this. Coming in, head the last thing to come up. Nice. Last time. Breathing in, arms up. And breathing out. Cactus. Elbows in at your waist. Looking up at the ceiling. Squeezing them together. Breathing in. And breathing out, reaching forward, hinge from the hips, and then soften as you fold all the way down to the floor. Now, let's come onto the floor from here. And you're going to put your right leg in front of you, or part of our warm up, knee over your ankle directly, and slide that back leg back. And from here, you're going to roll the hips side to side. Nice. We're making sure we get a good warm up in the cold weather. Nice. And we're meeting all the tension around the hips. Very good. From here, we're going to straighten that front knee, reaching back with your bottom and coming forward. And reaching back and forward. Very nice. Making sure you're sort of sliding, gliding, reaching back. We've got three more and forward. Two more. Stretching the hamstring all the way from the insertion. And forward. And last one. Reach. And back. Lovely. 
you're going to be on our right knee and have your leg out to the side. So we're just still in our warm-up phase, but this will just help to loosen up your spine. So from here, you're reaching up and over, and we're going to do our mermaid stretch. And we're going to rotate the shoulders towards the floor. And back. Nice. So you're really getting a stretch in the side and reaching that top arm away and back. Good. Two more. And back. Nice work. Last one. And back. Very good. Bring your knees together. Coming up and let's change legs. I'm going to put that leg. So now my right leg is out to the side. I'm on my left knee. My left hand is on the floor and I'm reaching over. Good. And we're going to rotate towards the floor. And back. Lovely. And reach that top arm away. Reach it as far as you can, even as you rotate. So you want to straighten the side here. Two more. And back. And last one. Reaching. And back. Very nice. Okay. We're going to start on the mat today. And we're going to start in a half side plank. Okay, Barbara's just done a very long drive, so she's been a little bit stiff. But this is a nice, calm workout. It works hard, but it's not too strenuous from the mobility side. So, we're going to come into a half plank. I'm on my left elbow, my elbow's directly under my shoulder. I'm going to lift up my hips and I'm going to extend my top leg. And it's in line with my body. Okay. And from here, we're going to go up and down. So, connect the tummy, lifting up, and let's go. Lay up and down for 10. 2. Tummy in. 3. Make sure your shoulders are nice and long. 5. Lift those hips. 6. 7. Make sure you're up in a plank. 8. 9. And 10. Very nice. Now hold that leg up there. And you're going to drop down and up. Hips down and up for 10. 2. 3. Coming in. 4. 5. 6. Squeeze. 7. 8. 9. And 10. Very nice. Come on the other side. Like I always say, I find that side work so difficult. Okay, so I'm on my right shoulder. My elbow is directly under my shoulder. Make sure it's not too far out. So it's directly under the shoulder. Come up into that half plank and extend the leg in line with your body. And let's go up and down. One, two, connect your tummy, breathing out. Three, four, keep it going. Five, six, seven, very nice. Leg straight. Eight, nice, top leg is straight. Ten. Now hips up and down, go down and up, keep going, down and up, make sure you're in a plank, I'm going to come and lift, lifting up, down and up, top leg is straight, lifted, nice, that's it, for four more, three, two, one, very nice, well done. Come up into sitting and keep your legs in like a side saddle. So they're kind of in a figure of four. And you're just going to stretch over to get a nice stretch. So if your knees, if your feet are on the one side, you're stretching over to your feet. Barbara, stretch the other way. That's it. So you want to open up here. That's it. There we go. So you get a nice stretch on this side. Very nice. Now we're going to stay here and you're going to put your back leg back a little bit. So now I'm sitting kind of like this. Can you see? I'm going to put my hands on the front, on the front, either side of my front knee and I'm going to lift this back leg up and down. So my right knee is in front of me, my left leg is behind me bent. Hands on either side of my front leg. We're going to bend a little bit forward, coming in. And we're going to lift that leg up and down. Let's go. Make sure your chest is facing your front knee. That's it. So you're squeezing in the glutes here. Lift. For five more. Good. Four. Three. Lovely. Two. Make sure that back leg's back and 
enough that it doesn't irritate you. One, very nice. Roll your knees to the other side. And we're going to first start with that straight, reaching over towards my feet. That's it. So now you're going to straight towards your feet. There we go. Perfect. And not always that comfortable. So you need to hold on to your leg to hold you there. That's fine. Just a nice way to open up here. Good. Now put your back leg back a little bit more. Hands on either side of your front knee. And we're going to lift up and down for 10. Let's go. One. Breathing out. Two. Three. This really makes your glute medius working. Very good. Four. Five. Keep it up. Six. Seven. Nice work. Eight. Nine. Coming in. Ten. Very nice. Then count to our all fours. Okay. So I'm on my hands and knees. Shoulders down and back. Back nice and flat. You can turn your wrists out to the side slightly, so if your wrist gets sore, turn the fingers out. And from here, you're going to keep your back dead still. Tongues in, shoulders down. And I'm going to step out and other way to join it. And then step back into all fours. And then change legs. But notice my back stays absolutely still. So if you were looking at me just from here, you wouldn't notice anything changing. Let's go. Step out. In and in. Now change legs. Step out. Very good. Nice and slow and controlled. Keep going. Step out. Out. In. In. Shoulders down. Coming in. Out. In. In. Make sure you alternate sides. Out. Out. In. In. One more each side.
squat needs to be wide enough that when you turn to the side and you lower it down, my knee is over my ankle. So if your squat is too narrow and you turn, the lungs become very cramped. So stand with your legs nice and wide. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to pulse for four, two, three, four. Then we're going to turn and go into a lunge and pulse. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to come back and face. And then we're going to turn the other way. Okay, so we're going to do five times going each way. I'll count. You just copy. Make sure that when we're in the middle, and you pulse and push the knees back. So you want to try and push your knees back. Nice wide squat, Barbara, probably wider. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Let's go down, pulse, one, two, three, four. Turn to the right, two, three, four. Back to the middle, pulse, two, three, four. To the left, turn, one, two, coming in. Three 
Right, standing up, just a little bit of a balance exercise and a hip mobility exercise. 
and good luck with the rest of your afternoon. <laughs> Cheers, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shame, Barbara disappeared. <laughs>